Today the pitch is all perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so welcome to our channel cuties and today we're gonna take our cuties to the really raw and unfiltered behind the scene as a life as a content creator. So like often the life of a content creator is quite glamorized. Like the influencers that you follow. When you see their fit, everything looks so picture perfect. But really, you really don't know what is in the behind of that camera. Yeah. And that's the same for us too, kitty. Yeah. I try really hard every day trying to like <laughs> puzzle each picture, which one will go pretty on yes. which part. So we're gonna take your cuties along the behind the scene, including like the creative process behind it, like preparation for photo shoots, yeah. business how we, meeting, how we edit, how we book a studio, studio. and all that really detailed stuff. Yeah. Maybe if our cuties really love this kind of raw, unfiltered video, maybe we can create it as a little series. Let us know in the comment section below, cuties. Oh. And sometimes we break down <laughs> when stuff doesn't go right. We fight hell a lot. Yeah, the only time when we fight is when we are We're creating, creating content. content because of, you know, clash of opinions. But I love you so same time we'll be introducing this really cool software called type, type from business canvas because this video is sponsored by type so type is an all-in-one workspace that helps to make the experience of creating document more efficient so including us so many of us are so used to creating document through microsoft word but there are so many inconveniences when using it like for example when i'm writing a script for introducing a certain brand i first have to do a brand research and this not only takes a lot of time for me to collect the resources but it also takes a lot of time for me to go through that resources and a lot of time is wasted when I have to go back and forth between the resource that I've collected and the document that I'm actually writing. And this is where the type comes in. It's a tool that makes the entire process of collecting the resources, organizing the resources, and creating the final document very seamlessly. Yes, sit there, young lady. <laughs> So let me quickly walk you cuties through the type. And this type software has been a game changer for me when working on document. So you can easily add type through Chrome browser extension. And if you use type often like us, it's best to pin the browser by clicking the pin tab. So the browser extension is available both in Chrome and Safari, but they say it actually works better on Chrome compared to Safari. So I'm using on Chrome. Here, the bold ones are called project. And when you click these triangles, the list you see here are called documents. You can create new project by clicking add project and give a name to the project. And you can start adding documents by clicking plus add document. Here you can create a new document or open from local or open it from Google Drive. For us, let's try opening from local. You can select a file from your device or simply drag a file here and that's pretty much it. By the way, just keep in mind that only documents, PowerPoint, and Excel files can be uploaded here. So now let me actually walk you through the workspace. When you double click or click start typing, it will lead you to the workspace. This left side is called the library where you store all of your resources. You can add new resources in various ways or you can simply drag the resource to the library and here where you actually type and do the work is called document so now most of the time when I'm writing a script or a paper I'll have another file or window open on this side so that I can go back and forth from my document as a reference but unless you have a huge screen it's really a struggle having to go back and forth from your document and the resource that you have and this is where you use a tool called split view to use a split view simply click the resource you want to view on the side and ta-da! You can also drag it sideways to change the screen size as well. So this split view tool is the main reason I love using Type. It makes your writing so much more efficient and it saves a hell of a lot of time. And lastly, we also have a task tool where you can organize and keep on track of your task as you're writing. You can locate the task tool at the top right corner, simply add the list of tasks by clicking add task, give a title to the task and click create. As you finish each task, click on the check mark icon and it will automatically move to the done file. And here's the best part cuties this type is free to download and use so that's kind of like the basic tools we have in type and throughout the video we'll show you kids how we further utilize the type through our daily tasks okay the time to squeeze our brain cells <laughs> so every time we create a reel we always have to have this little meeting Yes, a QQ meeting. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we gotta brainstorm. Like, how are we gonna make a story? Like, like how are we gonna open this video and end, end it? it? And what kind of transition are we gonna have in between? Yeah. Based on this, we'll get our studio. Yes. You know, we'll get the props that we need. Yes. For this particular one, Dior asked us to incorporate a lot of, you know, that freshness yes. with flowers. When you see this commercial, it's like very flurry. Yeah, colorful. Pinky, feminine. Yes. So, so based gonna, on this, we also gotta think about what we're gonna wear, sis. <gasps> Yes. Ah! Because we don't have a lot of feminine stuff in our closet. Yeah, it's all black. Oh, shit. Ah! So how we brainstorm is that we make little square boxes. And each square box is each frame. Then draw down what kind of pose we have to do and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think we should start with something like holding the perfume. Mm. Like we lay down and hold the perfume. Cuties, so things might change if something doesn't turn out as what we planned. But yeah, it's really good to have this rough draft when we go to the studio because there's a time limit. So it's best to just like put all of idea that we can have right now so yes. we can just choose and use which one we need to use. Yes. And we ha always have to pray to God that the weather's gonna be really nice. Because this video, we need a lot of sun. <gasps> so it's like, oh please, oh please God, we need a good sun. <laughs> oh, Mother Nature! Well, hello, cuties. Welcome to Let's Spill Some Tea with Q1 segment of this video. Oh my god, I love this. Let's spill some tea, bitches. So a lot of our cuties actually DM us saying that where do we find all these beautiful studios that we shoot for all of our Instagram posts? So basically, we find all of our rental studio on Instagram and what we write is rental studio. Obviously, you have to write in Korean. We just spelled out like this. You will find lists and lists of beautiful and gorgeous rental studio in Seoul, Korea. There's literally so many. And yeah, so normally what we do is that we'll DM the owner saying like, um, excuse me, is this studio available on this date at this time? And you must check their calendar to first see if that space on that time is available. And when it is available, they'll say like, oh, you have to pay this amount of down payment to reserve your spot. And after using the studio, you will send them the remaining fee. So that's pretty much how we do and normally uh, the minimum starting hour is two hour You normally can book a studio for one hour. I mean this year we spend quite a chunk of money on rental studio I want to ask like if you cuties in your country have like this type of rental studio I think only Korea has this much variety because I've seen some influencer. They literally book, book a, a hotel, hotel because they don't have a studio yes. like this oh My god, we are living in the most extravagant city What do you think of this place? It's so boring! <gasps> it's gross! I think it's beautiful! Find another one hurry! We don't have time! The shooting is tomorrow, sis! <laughs> 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 It's okay, sister. I'll find it for you. It's okay, sis. Don't panic. I'm hungry. Got it. Got everything. Hi cutie, so what's new? We arrived at the studio way too early, so the owner said just park here and wait until the clock ticks to one o'clock when we can start going in and shoot the hell out. Eugene is putting her contact lens inside the car. Y'all, I become a pro man! Oh. Yeah, you got it, sis. Let's see, let's see the eye. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we don't normally put contact lenses when we do Photoshop, but when we do like video, like reels, we put a contact lens. Cause so it kind of makes a difference. difference. Yeah, you kind of look more, more like a little dog. We even ate our morning inside a car today. We ate bacon chayu kimbap because we were so hungry. Oh, and we did our own gel nail this morning. Mine's mm. horrible. It's okay. As long as it looks good on the screen. <laughs> Yeah, so today this is like a realistic behind the scene. Everything you see in the our Instagram, all the glamour, it's fake. fake. <laughs> There's a lot of blood and sweat that goes behind. So we have just arrived in this beautiful studio. We have a time limit, so we have to use this space within two hours, and that includes getting ready and cleaning. And for this studio, one hour was like sixty dollars, so two hours one hundred and twenty dollars. Not cheap. We gotta use our time wisely. Oh, look at this place! It's so pretty, right? Look at the this. weather's perfect. Yeah, the weather's so perfect. But did I do a good job finding the studio, sis? Thank you. It's real pretty. Whoa, look at the sun. Yeah, I know. Look at what? that. We're done, cuties. <laughs> we kind of rushed in the last minute, but we finished it. Good job, sis. Thanks, sis. We <laughs> also scared that we won't be able to. Finish. Yes, and like we need that sun over there. It's gone now. Yeah. God is with us. Thank you, yes. Lord. Amen. Bye, cuties. So welcome to QQ's video editing class. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> So this is my favorite time. This is where everything comes together. All the blood and sweat and tears. Yeah, so I really love editing. Like when I get this whole footage, like hundreds of footages, like I just get this butterfly because I'm so excited to like edit these. <laughs> I don't get it. For the editing software, I always use Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is so simple and easy, so I highly recommend to use this one. And when I edit reels, I first need to find a music, a good music. I think finding a music is really important because it sets out the whole mood. When you puzzle each footage together, like the music plays a big part. So first, you gotta find the music. And I found it on Instagram, so this is gonna be our music. Your head on my shoulder. Yeah, so it's really slow and lovely. So I'm gonna edit everything into a slow motion. finished it and we just gotta wait for the confirmation kitties and if everything goes smoothly we'll be able to upload this friday we have to do three more of this this month three along with two videos per <laughs> It's always been the sound of you that soothes me it's always been the way you smell that makes me feel at home And I just wonder if we'll keep on growing Will it make a difference if we're caught up in a storm? Cause like the rain we will fall, we will move on to and there's no need for shelter on days like this Like the rain we will fall, we will move on to And there's no need for shelter on days like this 
It's um 6.09 a.m. So before I sign off, I wanted to introduce these two awesome tools that I use at Tight. So as you kiddies know, I love cooking and a lot of the recipes I find it from YouTube. To celebrate this Christmas, I want to make a gingerbread house from a scratch. <gasps> You heard it right. So before I started using type, the way how I organize type is that I would play the YouTube and then kind of watch it and pause it and go to my word and then type, type the recipe and then go back to YouTube and then watch a little bit and then stop it and then go back to my dog and type, 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 do it, type, 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 do it, type, 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 and repeat that whole entire process. And dude, it takes so much time. But now with type, I can read, watch, and use the resources that I've collected as a reference on one side of the screen while writing the document on the other side of the screen right next to it. And this is all possible because of one of our favorite tools from the type called the split view. So this is gingerbread house recipe that I'm going to follow. To save it into my type inbox, I'm going to use Web Clipper by simply clicking the typed extension icon. And that's pretty much it. If you go to your inbox, you'll be able to find the gingerbread house tutorial that I just saved. Now you can either drag this resource to the gingerbread house document or another way you can do it is that when you're saving the resources, you can choose where you want to save. So for me, I want to save it directly to the gingerbread house document that I've created and to do so click the location and click where you want to save it now if you go to your gingerbread house document workspace you can find the resource you just saved in the library and yes it's not just files that you can save in the library but you can also save like URLs in your library as well so like YouTube videos or like any articles that you find you can all save it in the library click the resource and now you can view your document and resource in a split view I can watch a tutorial on the right side while typing in the recipes next to it simultaneously rather than having to go back and forth from one screen to another. Isn't this so cool? I just love it so much. It just makes everything so much easier for me. And also cool thing about Web Clipper is that it prevents you from like saving the same resources repeatedly. For example, currently I already have this gingerbread house or tutorial resource in my library. So if I try saving it again, you can see a red text saying that this resource already exists and it will prevent it from saving it again. Also, without using the extension button, you can also add resources to your library by just simply copy and paste the URL. Even for images, just simply copy the image and paste it on the library. That's it. Yep, and that's pretty much it for the split view and web clipper tools. It really makes my working process more efficient. I'm gonna sign off. I don't think this coffee is working. Screw caffeine. brand called Have It. So yeah, it's gonna be so fun. It's been a while since we hold a live on our Instagram. Instagram. Hi kitties, it's me again. <laughs> so currently I'm working on a script for Havoc Live. Not really a script, but more like a bullet point where the designer wants us to emphasize when we're introducing their garments. As I'm writing this script, I want to introduce two more really awesome tools from Type. And first we have the backlink tool. So it's basically a tool that links related document that you have written from the past. For example, if you want to bring in the resource that you have used in the past on a certain document, on the far left below, click the browse other resource button. And here you can find resources that are saved in your inbox as well as your documents. And yes, you can bring the resource to your current library by simply dragging it to the library. And when you do that, you'll be able to see a green text saying one back link. If you click that, it will tell you in which document you use a resource in the past. And the last tool that I want to introduce is a tool called Highlight. It's basically a tool where you highlight the article that you're reading it. For example, simply click and drag the sentence you want to highlight. Then a highlight icon will pop up, then click it and that's pretty much it. And now here's the cool part, cuties. When you highlight something, you can actually see what you have highlighted by clicking that yellow triangle icon in the library. And when you click each highlight, it will automatically go to the area where you've highlighted in the article. So there you go, cuties. Those are all the tools that we currently use in type. I hope it was informative. Thank you for the pat. Thank you. Let's do this. I'm not ready. Yes, you are. We didn't even get the practice. It's okay. Let's go with the flow. Yeah. Live is all about going with the flow. You don't practice.
So we're gonna hurry down into the next project, which is with Farfetch. Yeah. Which is what Farfetch is. So basically, we have to create like 15 to 20 of fashion images and two TikTok. So basically, for this Farfetch photo shoot, it's mainly focused on their fall winter boots. Mm -hmm. So we already select the boots, which are gonna be like Chloe, Balma, Jill Sander, Paris, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and we finish um, stylizing the outfits. Mm -hmm. So now we just need to think about like the different poses that we can do with these boots yes. and clothing. If you're taking a photo shoot by yourself, it's much easier than having to take photo with two people, okay? Because like the pose and like how you can uh, harmonize with each other, you yeah. gotta think about all those kind of stuff. So for us, it's best for us to kind of like research ahead and have a reference of so the that poses that we're gonna do. Yeah, we always spend like good thirty to forty minutes like going through our Instagram or mm. online magazines to see what kind of poses that we can do it together. Yeah. For this one, we're gonna actually ask our friend Christina, who's an amazing photographer. She's gonna help us with the photo shoots. They specifically asked us to create a flashlight images. Yes. So they want the, us to utilize a flashlight in a little darker background and also have like this geometric architectural places. So we just also gotta find a studio. studio. But some of the photos, we're actually gonna go to the TDP, where the soul fashion week happens. Already by thinking about it, it's draining me, sis. Yes. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's our job. Yes. Hi. <laughs> let's, let's... Oh, shut up. Suck it up, buttercup. Mm. without Christina. My sister is changing her outfit right now. I'm wearing acne suit, Jill Sander boots. These are some jewelry. Uh. And I was just steaming my white shirt. So are you done? Scars to die. Heading to our second destination, which is DDP. And the water. So this one, we didn't edit it. Our amazing photographer, Christina, edited these photos. Yeah. And she sent it to us. So let's see you together. Ta-da! Nice! So the theme was like a flashlight and a cool architecture. So we took this at DDP. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Wow, I love the color. Love it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whose booty is that? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, and oh I love this. Yeah. Two shots. Okay. Next project. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So other than that, our work also involves a lot of visit to showrooms and events to see the latest collection by designers and brands. We sometimes visit to show our support or just fully as a work purpose. At here, we'll take photos and upload on our social media to notify our followers, in this case, our cuties. We also do meetings to meet the brand and designers to get to know them better before creating a content as well. I honestly don't know how our job became a content creator. As you cuties know, we are an introvert, but our job is really letting us out there and socializing with new people every day. But we love it every bit of it, and we're so grateful to be able to share the raw part of our creative process and simply our journey as a content creator with you cuties today. So if you guys enjoyed our behind the scenes And it was actually interesting for me to see it too Because yeah. usually when we are creating content We're just so busy creating content yeah. We just don't know what we're doing. doing But then seeing it on the screen It was quite interesting for us too yeah, And I realized we really hustle man uh, Do some pet on our shoulder yeah. I need some break But you still have full schedule until December so <laughs> and hopefully we did a good job at explaining about how to use a type and yes. if you cuties are interested the type is free to download and use so yes. make sure to take advantage of it it really saved my life yeah. if you cuties enjoyed this video make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and we upload every sundays and occasionally on thursdays so if you could enjoy this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye